Good morning to all my lovely children. I am your teacher, Savita Ma'am from Sanskriti School. Children, it's such a wonderful feeling to meet you all once again after such a long break. Right? I'm so happy to see you all. And children, I'm very happy to hear that you all are reading very well. Your teachers told me that you all are reading very well. Whatever we have learned together, we have learned to read some three letter words. We have learned to read some sight words together. And you all are reading it so well. Wonderful. Clap for yourself. I am so proud of you all. Lovely. Keep it up children. Right. So, uh, any idea? Can you guess what, what we are here to, together again and what are we going to do today? Hmm? Think, think for a while. No, you don't know. Let me tell you. Children, put on your thinking caps and tell me, you know, when you were very little babies, when you didn't know how to talk, every time you wanted something, you used to cry. You used to cry and mama used to come and give you whatever you wanted. Mama knew what you want. Okay. Then you grew up a little bit and then you started pointing towards the thing. Suppose you were very thirsty. When you were little grown up, maybe nursery, you used to point like this. No point to the water that yes, I want water. You never spoke, but you used to point, point like that. Then you grew up a little more and you came to nursery and then LKG. And then you started to speak some words. Then you would say water, water or in your mother tongue you will say pani, pani. You know that's how you used to communicate. In LKG and nursery, maybe some of you were speaking very well in nursery, not in LKG, I think in nursery. And then children, now when you are all in, you are in UKG, you are such smart children, growing up to be so smart, yes. And you all are learning to read also, instead of, yes, you all are speaking so well, but you all are reading also well. That's nice to hear it, children. So today, we are here to read something new, to learn something new. Do you want to know what it is? Okay, let me just tell you children that there are some sight words that we have learned together. Okay, you all know them. I am not going to revise them today just like this with you. These are some sight words and some three letter words that we had learned. Now, when... We mix, when we bring them together, some sight words and some three letter words, what happens? Do you want to know? Let me see. So, I have a card here, children, and I want you to close your eyes for a while, quickly. Don't open your eyes now. Okay, and now open your eyes and read this. What is this? Which sight word? I. Very good. So many of you are reading it. I. Now close your eyes once again. Quickly close your eyes. And now read this word. Which word is this? The. The. Very good. Very good. Okay. You all are reading so well. Now, can you read this three letter word? Let's read it with sound. E. The. Head. Head. Okay. Right. And now let's read the last word here. Here. B -a -n -bun. Bun. Wonderful. Now children, do you know what have you done just now? You have read all the words that are there in a sentence. Right? Sentence. When I say sentence, that means so many words coming together. And like the way now you all are able to communicate, you can say, I am thirsty. I want water. I am hungry. So what are you doing? You are speaking in sentences. Right? So not just speaking. Now you can read too. So let me show you what have you done just now. You have read the whole sentence. Can you believe it? Let's do it again. See here. The sentence is so many words coming together. And you know one very important thing children. You must remember the first letter of the sentence Always we write it in capital, mama letter. Always the first letter, right? 
it's always capital. This is a sign for capital. So when I do this, that means capital letter. The first letter is always capital. And there are some words written here and there is a dot at the end. The dot means, it's, we call it as full stop. There you have to, the sentence has ended and you put a dot. That is full stop, right? Now, let's read the sentences together, children, right? The first one. Look here. I hid the bun. Full stop. Wow, you have read one sentence. Let's see if you can read the next one too. Close your eyes. Next one coming up. Here it is. And all these sight words you have learned children, yes? This is the first one. Again, see the first letter is capital. The first letter is capital. Let's read. It is an ant. And a full stop. Yay! And do you know children, there are some space between two words, right? The way now we write rhyming words, we take two finger space. That's how there are some space between the two words. That's how we write a sentence. It helps us read comfortably. So you have read one more sentence. Let's see if you can read this one. Are you all very eager to read it? Okay. Here it is. Let me see if you can read it. Yes. The first one is. She. And see the S is capital because it is the first letter of the sentence. She can run. Yes. Some of you who can't read straight away can blend them. Right? R -a -n, run. Like that. Right? Once again. She can run. And if we we'll stop down below. Wow! Children, one more coming up your way. I know you all are very excited to read now. It feels very good when you can read sentences on your own. Now, see here. The first letter is, again, capital. The first letter of the sentence. Here. He fed those who cannot read directly at the fed. He fed, this is a sight word, the, the og, dog. Wow, let's read it again. He, he fed the dog. And there is a full stop, there is a dot. That means the sentence has ended. Wonderful, the last one coming up your way, children. I'm so happy. And read it with me. What it says. The first letter of the sentence always capital. Let's see what it reads. This is a sight word. I can do it. I can do it. And the full stop. Yay! Clap for yourself children loudly. Yes, I can do it. You can do it. And that's why there is a smiley for you all. Lovely, wonderful. I'm so, so proud of you all. See how now you know when you know how to read the sight words in some simple words. You can read some sentences. And if you can read sentences, that means you can read a simple story book. I was talking about the story book, right? Many times time back, no, a few months back when we were talking about reading, I told you that very soon you are going to read a story book. This is how you are going to read a story book. Right, children? Wonderful. Very good. I am super happy today. Clap for yourself. Good job. And let's continue reading huh? in the class. You continue reading with your teachers and with your friends and be a Good reader, a wonderful reader. Very good. I'm so proud of you. Have a wonderful day, children. Go and have lots of fun. Goodbye.